Welcome back to another lesson with Mr. G. Uh, today, we are going to draw together a unicorn. I got a lot of requests to make a unicorn, and I thought it would be a good idea to draw a unicorn based on a movie that I saw when I was a little kid. And the name of that movie was called The Last Unicorn. It came out in 1982, and that was a long time ago. But even longer ago than 1982 was 1968, when the author Peter Beagle wrote the book, The Last Unicorn, from which the film was inspired. Now, I've prepared two pencils with topper erasers. They're nice and sharp. You're also going to need a Sharpie. After we make our drawing and we clean it up a little bit, we're going to trace our lines with a Sharpie. After that, we're going to color it. But that's going to be in a second video. I'm going to do one drawing video and one coloring video for the unicorn. But let's get started with the drawing. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a small hill at the bottom. And that's going to be the bottom or the up the top actually, the upper body of our unicorn. If we draw that little half circle that you see there, that's going to get the, the, the base of our drawing started. Notice I've drawn several lines because I want to find the best one for later. Because I'm drawing lightly, it doesn't matter that I draw a bunch of lines because I can um, erase the ones that don't belong. Now, right about here, not in the middle of the paper, this would be the middle of the paper, a little bit between the middle and the side, I'm going to bring up the neck of the unicorn. It's kind of a curved line, right? And then over here, right where the little half circle ends, I'm going to bring up a parallel line. A line that's almost the same as this one. And it's kind of curving in and out and around like that. And there you can see the neck of our unicorn. We're going to make the head after this. We're going to make a head. Let's start off by drawing a circle right around there. And we're going to draw a triangle, a triangle. But instead of making a pointy triangle, go ahead and put a little flat end on the triangle. And you'll see why we're going to do that in a minute. This is pretty much the basic shape of our unicorn. You know that the unicorn is, is, is based on a horse, a horse with one single horn sticking out of the head. So if we can get the horse part drawn, then we're we pretty much finished. Now let's do the ears. This unicorn from this movie, from this animated movie, had some pretty long ears. So we'll draw one here, and we'll leave the second one for later. This ear is in the shape of a leaf. So if you can draw a leaf, then you've got that ear done. Easy, you'll be able to easily draw that, that ear. All right. Now, let's do the head. Bring it down a little bit here. The forehead. You can call this the, call this the forehead. Slide down. Come up, around, and like this. I'm going to give you a minute so you can draw that line. You got it? All right. Now, right here, we're going to draw a little line, a curved line that comes up. And then we're going to bring the bottom of the mouth down. Our unicorn does not have a huge mouth. As a matter of fact, her mouth was kind of small. During the movie, or a lot of the, a lot of the times in the movie, she was kind of sad. But I don't want to draw her sad. Now, let's draw the bottom of the mouth right here. And then bring it up. And then let's follow the curve of the circle. Not all the way, just to about right there. You see? She's coming along really nicely, right? Now that we've got the head, and we've got the front part, of the unicorn. Let's start cleaning her up a little bit. I'm 
going to use my eraser to clean up the light lines that I've been drawing because I'm going to need that space to draw her mane or her hair. Now, what do you say we start by doing the eye? Now, the eye is going to be a little complicated. It's not going to be the easiest of eyes, but we're going to do it step by step. We're going to find the location of the eye. The eye is going to be somewhere around here. Okay? Now, I did a circle. Now, my circle is kind of slanted to the right. You notice that? It's kind of slanted to the right. I draw this line so you can see this kind of kind of an oval circle. And it's kind of slanted to the right a little bit. I'm going to erase the line. That was just for you to see. And my next step is going to be the, um, the eyelid. Curved line at the top. Finish this line coming down, and that's the eyelid, the top part of the eye. Now, bring a little curved line. We're going to start making the eyelashes, because she's a girl. Yes, the unicorn is a girl. One eyelash, and the other eyelash crosses this one. See that? Then right here, we're going to bring a line that's going to connect to the other side of our eyelid. We're going to draw one eyelash in the back. One, another eyelash below that one. All right, we're almost done with the eye. Now, you see how I brought this line and it's not matching up with the eye? That's perfectly okay because I'm going to bring the eye here, the iris. The iris is the part of the eye that has the color. And on the inside is the pupil, the black part of the eye, the part of the eye where we see. And then right here, we're going to bring a curve up to finish our eye. Make a little line there, and we're almost done with the eye. Two little lines here for eyelashes. I want you to draw two circles in here, two small circles. Those are in our iris. All right, now let's clean up our eye. Let's erase those extra lines. And I'm going to make some little lines in this space right here and in the pupil. I'm going to darken the lashes with pencil. And later, we're going to come back with our, with our Sharpie marker. And we'll fill that in nice and black. Let's draw a little, very thinly drawn oval right here and that's going to remind us later when we color we want to color light blue in there let's make the nose the hole right here i'm going to draw a very light circle around that and let's draw a line right here for our mouth now inside let's go back to the ear here inside our ear let's make the exact same shape of the ear we're going to color that later. All right, so if you've gotten to this part, we've pretty much done all the hard work. All we've got to do now is the unicorn and the, the hair. Actually, since we're here, let's erase this part. Let's start cleaning her up a bit. Now let's do the unicorn horn. Draw one line going up so that we know where we're going to put our unicorn. I like to put it between the eye and the ear. And then next to that one, we're going to draw one line that goes almost to the tip of it. And the other one next to that going up. And they're kind of gonna they're gonna kind of meet, but not touch because the unicorn is is off the paper. If you drew your unicorn smaller and the horn can fit in the paper, that's great. That's perfect. So I'm going to erase this line right here. And if this was a ladder, we would draw straight lines up. But this is not a ladder. This is a unicorn horn. So we're going to draw slanted lines. 
slant slant your lines all the way up now you saw how the unicorn line is straight we're going to create little bumps or half circles going from line to line to line to line to line see that that's not too hard is it just think of a half circle little curved line same thing coming down half circle half circle half circle half circle half circle all the way down to the bottom perfect now it's time for the hair the hair is a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of curves and we're going to let that hair uh, twist and turn and let's start off with a big hair that's going to start from back here from behind the ear we're going to use a light line we're going to go right through and we're going to curve all the way around that's our first one now don't worry that that goes right through all the ear and the unicorn horn all of that don't worry about that because we're going to go and erase that stuff later remember to draw lightly because if you don't draw lightly then yeah then it's going to be a problem now, right next to that, make another line. We're going to bring it down. Make it look like a big, thick strand of hair. We're going to bring another one that's going to come out through here. And it's going to go forward. It's going to curve forward. And we're going to bring another one here. Connect to there. Now, you can do your own random curves. I'm doing these, but you can change them around however you like. You can do more, you can do less. Now I'm going to bring some hair into here. Between the, between the horn and the ear. And we can bring some back here. Another curved line. Another one that comes around and swivels down this way. And it meets back up. Try to have fun. Relax when you do it. Do them lightly. If, you, if one of them that you've drawn doesn't come out the way you want it to be, that's fine. Erase it and do it again. I'm going to add another line to this one. As you step back and you look at your work, you'll see if you need to make some changes. Let's see, let's put some another line here. I'm going to leave that there. Bring another line here. Bring another curve there. All right, let's put some in the front too. Bring a nice thick one that comes in like this. Comes back up. It meets up a second one that comes to the front. Don't be afraid to make them big. If they're big, they're okay. And another line. I'm going to darken this neckline right here. Because that's a final line for me. Okay. Now, because our unicorn has two ears, I'm going to put the other one just peeking out right there. Just going to peek out right there. You could make it peek out here if you want. Or behind this one. But I'd like to go forward. You know what? Now that I drew this one. Now that I drew this one. I like this one better than this one. So I'm going to erase this one. And I'm going to keep that one. Yeah. I'm not going to make this shape on this one. Because on this one I'm only seeing the back of the ear on this one I'm seeing the inside of the ear kind of if you think of a bunny rabbit's ear then then you've got the idea okay now for coloring we're going to need to make a, a few more lines that are going to help us they're going to guide us when we do some coloring on our uh, later on on our unicorn so let's draw a line here very lightly Let's draw a line that comes from the top to the bottom of the unicorn's cheek. 
then through here we'll draw another one that's going to help us with shading and our ear is going to have this line right here and that line right there okay now it's time for our sharpie let me make sure my sharpie has a point well this point is not too bad i can i can work with this point but let me see if i have another one with a sharper point Let's see i've got two more here Mm, kind of round. It's okay. I can still use it if I don't have a pointy one. Oh, but I like this one. This one's nice and pointy. I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to start tracing all my lines. Before I trace, I want to make sure I erase any line that might confuse me. I don't want to Sharpie any other line because if I do, that's going to be permanent, right? Because it's a permanent marker. I will not be able to uh, erase it and I will not be able to color over that Sharpie too well. So let me make sure I've got all my lines cleaned up. All right, it's Sharpie time. You can start anywhere you want. You can start from the top to the bottom. You can start from the bottom to the top. I'm going to start from the top. I will try to use the point as best I can. Take my time, not rush anything. Because when you rush in art, that's when you make mistakes. Sometimes the mistakes are good, but sometimes they're not mistakes you need to have or want. In this case, since our drawing is already done, we want to be as careful as possible. I'm not going to be draw I'm not going to be sharpie using my sharpie on these lines because these are for coloring. I'll be able to erase them later. If you have a thin marker, something thinner than a sharpie, feel free to use that. Sometimes you want to use a thin marker for the um the mane, the hair of our beautiful unicorn sometimes you want to use a thicker one i use a sharpie i have thin markers it's not like i can't pull out a thin marker but i want to be able to use materials that i know you have at home if i start pulling out all kinds of fancy art materials then you might not be able to follow along and i want you to be able to follow along i want you to be able to do this work at home and enjoy it because you have the basic materials. I don't want you to feel frustrated because, oh, wow, he's using such and such marker and such and such pencil, and I don't have it, so it's not as good. I don't want you to go through that. I want you to be able to make some art using what you have. I'm not going to um, do those lines because if I put that, those circles, if I put that marker in there, it's going to take over the area, and I want that to be... Uh, nice and open for my coloring. If you find that you don't trace your lines perfectly, don't stress out. There are times when I don't. And that's okay. I can go back later and I can erase the line that I didn't trace perfectly. Feel free to turn your paper if you need to to get a better view. See right here how I, I did a bigger one and I didn't follow the original line? That's perfectly all right. I'm not drawing this one. I'm staying away from that one. I'm staying away from that one and this one because those are lines for my coloring later on. Okay, and there is our line art, or our line drawing of the unicorn. Now the next video, we're gonna color it, okay? So make sure that when you have time and you've done this, oh wait, wait, almost forgot. Sorry, gotta go back. There we go, now I'm done. So when you're ready, click on the next video, 
If you liked this drawing, if you liked this artwork, this works for you, remember to uh, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more art, go ahead and subscribe and pretty much every week or maybe even twice a week, I'm going to try to put up a new drawing or a new lesson for you to enjoy. Thank you for drawing with me. Now let's go color.